Haddock, and today we're looking at a free game given by Epic Games back in November 2020. Also, there is some work going on nearby, so I do apologise for any background noise, you know, drilling and stuff. Uh, I think the spurring on to do this video is because uh, the creators have a new game out, Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. So yes, today we're looking at Mudrunner. So let's sort our winches, engage four-wheel drive, and get into it. Time to say it, you know I don't like to. Like, comment, share and subscribe, it is actually really helpful. So Mudrunner was released back in 2017 and described as an all-terrain simulation. Developed by Saber Interactive, side note, major props for your splash screen sirs, and published by Focus Home Interactive. Out of the Gate is a different style of driving game. It's not necessarily about the speed you can do something, it's more, can you do it? With varied vehicles and challenges, it is a change of pace from other driving games. Where do you start with a game that's as vast as its landscapes? Probably start where they did, with the engine. It runs on the Havoc engine, which is a great physics engine and one of my favourite engines to play on. It's been involved in some of the greatest games over the years, whether it's a standard Havoc engine or a modified version that they use themselves. Engines. Most people don't think about them. And why would you? It's hidden under the world of a game, under the fancy explosions, hilarious ragdolls, or fantastic physics puzzles. A game engine can ruin or make a game, whether it's the Source Engine, which uses a modded version of Havoc, or Rage, the Rockstar Advanced Game Engine. My god, some companies are like the military when it comes to acronyms. But I digress. A good game engine, running behind a beautiful game, are a great combination, and it's something people often don't even consider. Next time you play a game, maybe have a look. Moving away from engines, or is it towards engines with the topic today? Uh, well, moving on, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's not a racing game. You're not going anywhere fast. Your challenge is the terrain and your vehicles. The maps are detailed and beautiful, and you'll find yourself enjoying the little details as you drive. Those could be varied, you know, whether it's watching water fill in your tyre tracks, or seeing the drive shaft spinning under the chassis. Again, these little details, along with the stunning water effects and great vistas, whether it's forests or swamps, you'll enjoy your tootle through the scenery. I mean, having clocked over 25 hours when I first installed it, it kind of shows it, it draws you in. With its slower gameplay and amazing physics, I personally find it a very relaxing game to throw some time into. Basically, the main point of the game is to deliver lumber from the forest to the lumber mills. Who knew log moving could be such fun? With the plethora of vehicles at your disposal, from Soviet 4x4s and American pickup trucks, through to heavy wilderness traversing vehicles and caterpillar style loaders, getting the habit of some of the mechanics is easily done, either via the tutorial or the challenges, which prepare you for what's to come in the sandbox. Whereas mastering the log crane will probably take a bit more trial and error, especially if you throw a log off. The free DLCs that are available adds the American-style vehicles as well as some additional Soviet-style on top of the additional maps that come with it. I did find an issue that was kind of not an issue since free downloading this game. When I loaded it up, it stated that the DLC was not available and I couldn't continue my save. This turned out to be a lie, as it did allow me to continue with the vehicles and maps from the DLCs, but not before a fair few minutes checking Reddit and Google to see if it was an issue. Don't get me wrong, there will be frustration, like running out of fuel while fording a large river, whilst also towing a Soviet 4x4, which is currently upside down and further downstream than you'd like it to be. You may just quit to fight another day, but you'll almost definitely find yourself coming back. That river won't best me. That quagmire between me and the lumber mill won't stop me. We shall fight them on the beaches. We shall fight them on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. That was beautiful. What's going on? They're asleep. Oh, sorry, went a little off track there. As I said, you'll likely come back to the game because it's a different sort of challenge. Almost like a drive-in puzzle platformer. I mean, there we have it. Obviously, with the new game Expeditions, a Mudrunner game, being released recently, I thought it'd be a perfect time to see where it started and recommend, you know, what is a great game. Hope you've enjoyed this week's episode, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I've been Larry Haddock. Catch you next time.